Hello guys, we're in Skagway, Alaska. So this is our day three in the Alaska series. We're back in Skagway. Today, we're gonna talk about the history of Skagway. We're gonna visit a very peculiar cemetery. You have to see this part, very <laughs> peculiar cemetery. Part of the history of uh, Skagway, Alaska also. Uh, the Gold Rush Cemetery. And then we're gonna eat some local food here in Skagway. I think it's reindeer hot dogs yes. and bison hot dogs. Yes. Okay, if it With sounds- jalapeno. Uh, jalapeno mm -hmm. and cheese, yeah. If, if it sounds weird, you have to see that's gonna be at the end of the video <laughs> so stick with us and remember stick to the whole season of the series of Alaska and this is my travel journal let's start with some history Skagway is one of the oldest towns in Alaska but it became very popular in 1896 when they found gold flakes in Bonanza Creek in the Klondike that was enough to trigger the Klondike gold rush a headline of a Seattle newspaper spread the news to all the country. People from all over America came looking for gold. Skagway opened more than 80 saloons. Gunplay was common. The town was controlled by a gang of organized criminals, including the famous Soapy Smith. Civilization arrived when the White Pass and Yukon Road began constructing its railroad and became even better when two months after the criminal element was purged with the murder of Soapy Smith by the gun of a hero, Frank Ray. Going to the cemetery, it's a very peculiar cemetery. Skagway, like you saw in the in the history of Skagway, it was like a far west thing, sheriff, guns, and all this stuff. Duels. So the yeah, duels, a lot of duels. So the bad guy here was Soapy Smith. He was Soapy very Smith. popular. He, there was a shooting where Rate he helped the town, killing him in a shooting. But in the shooting, Soapy Smith shoot also, mm -hmm. and he got Rate, and Rate died after. How Three is it? Days. So, Sophie so you died can see right away, Ray died it was a violent, you know, a violent. They were town. dying like flies in duels, bank robberies. There was a yeah. robber who oh, came yeah. to the bank and uh, he had a pistol and he was full of dynamite. So, uh, not wanting, he pulled the trigger and he exploded. <laughs> so, somewhere here in this cemetery, it's gonna be his head. Only a head. Only a head. This is a small grave. grave. We're gonna try to find it for you. It's gonna be interesting. <laughs> We're gonna find the Soapy Smith grave. Everybody in this cemetery is famous. Yeah, yeah. It's like the Hollywood from Skagway here. Let's go to explore the cemetery, no? Let's go to the red carpet of uh, Skagway. <laughs> Skagway yeah. This cemetery is very peculiar and important because everybody that was buried here is important for Skagway. Everybody here is part of the history of Skagway. Another peculiar thing, if you see properly the graves, everybody died young. This is the grape of the famous Soapy Smith. As you can see, he is a bit on the edge of the cemetery. They didn't want to put him in between all the others because he was a bad guy. And this is the hero who killed Soapy Smith. So this is the grave of Martin Etienne and Lucy Etienne. Thanks to him, we're here. So he was going with the tourists around Skagway and showing Skagway, so he created tourism here. He's actually the only person who died uh, old. Because he was old, exactly. <laughs> yeah, all the others died by violent... Very violent causes. <laughs> or because they did the suicide. Yeah, so he's famous for the tourism and because he died old. He was the wise guy. Okay, guys. If you take a minute and you start to listen, you won't hear anything. Actually, you will hear just the sound of nature. Birds, wind, no cars, uh, nothing from the modern world. Only nature and you. So this is, I think, the right place to take a moment for us. Now let's go to the waterfalls. They are called the Lower Raid Falls and they are just there by the cemetery, maybe a 10 minute hike from it. Nice place to go and take some pictures. Everything is properly signed so you are not gonna get lost.
So this is the reindeer dog. Sorry for the decoration. I put some uh, mustard and some stuff there. And uh, this is the bison with jalapenos and it's uh, with cheese. The jalapeno and the cheese are inside, in the middle. How it tastes? Hey guys, don't forget to subscribe, put your comments below, thumbs up, and until next time.